Now you see, you've done it again, haven't you? You've tuned in because you could not help yourself. You want another plugs video. Well, you're in the right place. Here we go, then. As you can see up in front of the camera today, we've got three plugs there. And the question that I'm going to be asking you is, here, yeah, try not to fall into the trap. Okay. The question that I'm going to be asking you is, one of those plugs is a bit different, okay, which one is it? Now then, if you fell into the trap, then you would have said, oh, well, it's that one because it's brown, the other two are white. Well, I'm ever so sorry, you've fallen in the trap, okay, because this one is a pretty much, uh, you know, these are everywhere. Uh, and that is a 15 amp British Standard 5 or 6 by MK. Okay, and same with a white one. 15 amp British Standard 546, once again made by MK. But there you go. That leaves that one then, because that is the uh, the different one. And that is today's video subject, not these two. If you want to see these two, then I could probably put a little pop-up box on the screen or put a link in the video description to these. But there's today's video subject. How is that one different then to this one? Well, they're both 15 amp. They're both British Standard 546. Okay, with the pin configuration on there. What makes that one different then? Well, straight off the bat, the make of it. That one is not MK. Okay, it's some other make. And it does actually say on it, made in Hong Kong. So there's a bit of a... Uh, bit of a clue sort of thing is it it's an import okay the mk ones are obviously british made but this is an import okay now i generally don't discuss imports but this one's a little bizarre a little bit odd a little bit novelty and that is why i've got one okay just mainly because of its novelty value okay i'm going to pick it up we'll zoom in and we can read all the detailings that are between the pins there Let's get the zoom firing up then. Okay then, straight down the bottom you can see it says Made in Hong Kong right there. Okay, so it's a, it's a uh, import. And there's other numbers down there. Uh, just above that, there's something wrote up there. Something or rather, and there's a PAT number. Or we'll just have a look at that off camera. Hold on there a moment. Okay, that top number then, it says RD, and there's a long number there. Okay, if you can get on that brilliant, I really can't with this camera. Let's try and zoom a bit more. A bit more of a focus will have it. Uh, but we'll read the patent number out anyway, which is uh, 114284. Okay, that number up the top is either, I really can't make that out. You'll have to study that on full screen on your computer. I'm viewing that on a silly little screen on the side of a camera and I can't really make it out. I will have a look at my own eyes and see if I can read that number for you. Hold on there. Okay, the other number then is 928474. Okay, it's that phone again. Right, number up the top then. 928474 and this one is 1114 for the patent number so this does actually have a patent on it just above that then it says 15 amp uh is that 250 it normally says 250 yeah 250 volts ac on there then okay earth pin up the top there neutral as the number by the end and your live pin there so, it's a uh, an import then. It's made in Hong Kong. Why do I want that then? What's so special about that? Well, I'm about to turn it around because you've not seen the other side of this. 
it is a bit uh, bit unusual, bit odd, bit bizarre, and a bit novelty. Okay, are you ready for this? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, wallop. Okay, right, it's not that often you see that. Okay, it's a plug and it's got a switch on it with a neon indicator. Okay, yes, we're going to be opening it up. We'll have a look around in there. Why not? It would be rude not to. Okay, so I'm going to get a screwdriver. We've got a screwdriver ready and we're going to get inside that plug, have a good old mighty look around in there. Before we do, I'm just going to zoom in on that little logo that's right in the middle there. Just for the, so we can get it in video in high definition. Without it going out of focus, please. Okay, is that going to do that? Focus is trying to lock on, isn't it? It's getting there. Uh, that's out a bit. Come on, sharpen up a bit. You can do better than that. There you go. So it's got a W on there. A W in a little crown. Right in the middle there. Okay. That W probably means Wayne's Electrical. I don't know. But, uh, well, that, this plug was manufactured decades before this channel came about on YouTube, so it probably does not mean Wayne's Electrical. Switch. Off up the top, on down the bottom, there's like a little marker on there for some unknown reason. And, of course, a red indicator right there. Let's uh, turn this over then and open it up really, really carefully so we can have a good old detailed study inside of how this is wired up, because obviously speaking, you've got to have connections go into the little light that's in there. Let's open it up then. Screwdriver in there. Although that is a cross head, you can actually get a flat head in there and undo that. Does the screw drop out? No, it stays in there. The screw stays inside the plug. Let's turn it over then, and... Uh, oh, the screw has dropped out. So let's uh, take the cover off then and have a look around inside this uh, made in Hong Kong plug with a switch on it and an indicator light. Well, the indicator light is coming right away from the front cover. So it's still in there. No wires. Okay, so what have we got inside then? We've got the switch mechanism. That stayed in there. Being British Standard 5 or 6, there is no fuse in this. Okay, the fuse would normally go in a 13 amp plug where that fuses uh, the switches but this is British standard 546 so there's no fuse in this so they've taken the opportunity to put a switch in there instead earth up the top okay green and yellow neutral there which would be blue and your live terminal which is right there would be brown okay I think you these yeah you can push these out okay so there you go they push out you've got like these little pins on it either side rather much where my finger is, so that the the pin doesn't rotate in there. Again, that would be an issue, because you've got a conductor stuck in that hole, and if that rotated, it could shear the conductor straight off out of the hole. So you've got like, these little guides on here, so these little metal pins go in there and stop the pin from rotating. Again, pin rotation on a rectangular 13 amp plug is not an issue. Okay, Again, up the top, we can probably yeah, you can pop that one out as well. Same game with that one. You've got the two little metal guides sticking out the side there. Okay, I don't think the live one is removable. No, the live one's not. Chances are I'd have to remove that screw down the bottom there, and then the live pin would just drop out. Again, that's another problem with uh, import plugs. When the screws come loose, the plug pins have a tendency to just drop out, or you pull the plug out and the pin would still be stuck in the socket, sticking out with uh, mains voltage on it. Okay, I've checked this one over and it's nice and tight in there. Okay, we'll just, yeah, that's nice and tight and solid in there. Okay, I've just got the screwdriver in and tightened that. Well, I've checked it and it's nice and solid. Okay, I will just check the terminals because I don't want to lose any of them. So there it is then, all nice and tight in there then. Let's look at the indicator then. Let's put that just there. Okay, that's still in shot of the camera. That's most wonderful. And uh, we're now going to be looking at the indicator then. How does that work then if there's no wires between this and the innards of the this part? Well, if I turn it around, you will find, yes, that's right, there's a couple of springs in there. 
Okay, I'd like to seem to think there's a little, like a little fuse underneath there or something. I'm not going to take this apart because uh, these screws are right into, straight into plastic. They're probably not little brass inserts in there. Again, even with this, uh, because it is an import and it's made on a budget, there's no brass insert in the middle of there. Okay, so that turns straight into the plastic. And these springs here make contact with the neutral and live terminals so that uh, when it energises up, when you operate the switch, a uh, little neon in there lights up. Now then, it is a question, okay, of does that indicator still work in there? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reassemble the plug and after I've reassembled it, we're going to be uh, getting an energy uh, energy source or a, or a socket, we'll connect that in there and we'll have a look at that. Hold on there a moment. We're back then. Okay, I've uh, reassembled the plug, and the one we're looking at in the video, in this uh, video, is the one right in the middle there. There it is then. Now, if you, as you remember, we took that plug apart, had a good old look around in there of the switch and the neon. That one. Okay. What we're going to be doing in in this last section then, just as an end closure on this video. Is we're going to be connecting it up to an electricity supply and of course switching it on to see if we can get that uh, little indicator light on there glowing okay because it would be rude not to just over the back then just coming into shop right about now i do have an electricity supply because we're going to connect it up nicely and safely okay we're not going to twiddle wires around the plug pins and do anything nasty and super bodgy so i've got this Okay, yes, it is an extension lead socket, and it is 15 amp British Standard 546 on there. Okay, this is a Jura plug. Okay, let me zoom in on that. It's a nice big chunky extension lead socket there as well. Look at that Jura plug. So that on there is 15 amp, then British Standard 546. And that plug will fit in there most wonderful if I'll just zoom that out a bit. Okay. So let's put the plug in there then. This socket is live. The plug's going in then. In you go. There we are. That's in there then. Does it work when I turn it on? Yes, there you go. So that's working then. Look at it glowing. Okay. So that does work. I'll turn the switch. There you go. So what do you know then? We've got a plug, 15 amp British Standard 546 that has a switch on it and a neon indicator. Okay. One of those funny little, uh, you know, overseas oddities that uh, we just don't get here in the UK. Because, uh, well, you know, I don't know why, but we don't make things like that. But there we are. So, yes, it is actually glowing in there. It's a whole inside of the plug lights up in there. Okay, you can see the... There you go, up there. You can see it all glowing in there. But obviously speaking, when this is uh, connected up, uh, there'll be a, a flex coming out of there. So you wouldn't really see much glowing going on in there. Okay, so... That really wraps that one up then. I'll just leave it down there for the closing shot. Okay, if I can just put something behind that, just to, uh, there you go. Just for a closing shot, of course. Or I can just set that up. There you go, that is most superb then for a closing shot. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this one. A little bit later on then, we're going to be delving into even more plugs. Uh, you know, plugs and bits and pieces. So, I would like to say thanks for tuning in to watch this one. Uh, press the like button if you want, if you like that plug. Uh, and, of course, 
as always if you want even more plugs right about now would be a good time to press that subscribe button and then when a new plugs video comes up you'll receive a notification and uh, you'll be able to get in there and have some more even more satisfying plug action okay and of course we will be looking at uh, all of the usual and maybe along the way something a little more bizarre like that okay i don't know how long this has rumbled on for i'm off now i'd like to say thanks for tuning in for watching this plugs video mm -hmm.